Hello, I'm Peter and I've not made a video for YouTube like this before but I was moved to do so by uh, my experiences with an LG OLED 55B7V TV I bought in 2018. It's now 2020 so I've had it just over two years. I bought it because uh, of the superb picture performance of it, especially the black level which is um, real black unlike any of the other technologies. Uh, it's an emissive technology which means that the um, black can be really black because there's nothing being produced at all. Uh, now the thing about OLEDs, they do have a bit of a reputation for um, having a burn problem and particularly uh, image retention. But I thought well what I'm going to do is I'm going to be really careful I don't use it with gaming, I don't use it with anything else with which gives you long term images, I don't watch news channels um, very often and anything that has large um, sort of areas of fixed image I've avoided like the plague. I mostly use it with uh, set top boxes that actually have screen savers built in so if, if you pause the image for more than a minute then the screen saver cuts in and prevents a burn. So I thought I'm going to ignore all those doomsayers for talking about burn screens and so on, that I'm going to be sensible, it's not going to happen to me. It can't burn if I don't put a stationary image on it, can it? Wrong. A few weeks ago we started noticing that um, some of the colours weren't quite right in the centre of the screen, particularly flesh tones were looking a bit green. So I didn't know if it was the source material or the TV. I, I put coloured fields up, frame of fixed colour and I tried red, green and blue and I discovered the red was absolutely appalling. This is what it looked like and this has been happening progressively so I haven't really noticed it. But the interesting thing about it is that it's not a stuck image, it's not an image retention problem. If you look at it there is no image there. To investigate further, I took a picture of the red frame and using that I then enhanced using Photoshop the burn mark so we could see more accurately what it was to see whether there was a picture under it or whatever. I then turned it into a black and white image which shows even more clearly the areas that are burnt on the screen. Both Richard Sands, who I bought the television from, and LG themselves suggested running the pixel refresher multiple times. In fact I ran it seven times and it made absolutely no difference. What I believe this is, is a progressive burnout of the red pixels, the red sub pixels, um, caused by the amount of use they've had. In other words, if you average and integrate out all the images that have ever been on the television, those are the hotspots. Now the green and blue are absolutely fine, there's no problem with those and the same with white. So it's something that's particular to the red um, pixels which again um, would seem to disprove the possibility of, of a stuck image as such because it wouldn't just be red. I believe this is a weakness of OLEDs which hasn't really been talked about much which is long term burning not caused by uh, re image retention but by just use and the the pixels effectively wearing out and the red ones as you can see seem to be uh, the worst affected in fact the only affected on my TV. Now being it's two years old it's over two years old it's out of warranty the television itself had a six year warranty but it didn't cover specifically the panel the actual panel itself is covered by the manufacturer LG but it's only covered um, for a year so I'm outside of that. So therefore the alternative is either a new television or replace the panel. I've spoken to LG and they've agreed to replace the panel but unfortunately I wasn't able to get that free of charge. 
they're doing it for a supposedly reduced price of £200, which involves all the logistics of collection and delivery, etc., and the fitting of a new panel. And presumably that's going to come with another year's warranty. What worries me is what happens at the end of that year, whether the same thing will happen again. I've made this video to try and help you to uh, see that this is another source of burn problems, potentially not related to having long term fixed images on the screen. And it's something that can happen to anyone. I've not used it with anything other than broadcast TV or recorded programs from broadcast TV. Or alternatively, we've used it for streaming programs, things like Netflix and so on. So at no time has it had long-term fixed images on it. When you're streaming using the internal TV um, streaming system, in any case, there's a built-in screensaver, starburst screensaver that cuts in. So if you do freeze an image for a long time, that cuts in. So I can't see any mechanism where a, st a st still image could have caused this problem. I've made this video to show you um, my experience with it and to invite any comments or any observations or from anyone else who has experienced anything similar. Thanks very much for watching and bye bye.